Today you will learn how to get your very first client for web design. I promise you can get it, it just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of a plan. Getting good at the technical skills of learning web design takes a bit of time, but it doesn't actually get you your first client. Believe it or not, it's not really to do with your skills, it's more to do with your business. Just like absolutely every business, it takes a lot of effort to sell to everybody. It doesn't work. So you have to start with a niche and identifying your target market. Are you going to specialize in e-commerce? Are you going to specialize in small businesses? Do you want to work with blogs? Do you want to work with influencers? Who do you want to work with and what is their niche? You could decide I'm going to work with people that are contractors or maybe you want to work with cyclists. Who knows? But it's really important that you acknowledge that it doesn't matter who you pick to sell to, as long as you're not trying to sell to absolutely everybody. The broader your search is, the harder it's going to be to find you. When I talk about making your business plan and deciding on your niche and who's your target audience, this is all really important because you should do it before you make your portfolio website. If you're doing a web design course where building a portfolio is part of it, you might as well have that portfolio be something usable for you going forward. If I want to specialize in accountants, websites or contractors, then I better start making my portfolio applicable to them. It doesn't necessarily matter what tools you use, it's more about the business value that you're going to provide to them. So for example, if somebody is doing contract work, like building conservatories, for example, and you want to provide web services for them, think about that business and what those business needs are and who their customers are and what their customers' needs are. So for example, they're gonna to wanna to have some kind of booking. Maybe they wanna take payments. Maybe they wanna set up calls or scouting. Maybe they have maps. They wanna have an interactive map to show the range that they operate within. All of these things are things that you could figure out how to do, get them into your portfolio, and it gets you off to a very good start. Now, a really common misconception is that your portfolio has to be all real projects that happened for businesses that you've actually worked with, case studies and things like that. But if you haven't got your very first client yet, there's no way you're going to be able to build a case study. Obviously, it doesn't work like that. So what are you supposed to do? You could just make them up, okay? Find businesses that actually exist in your local area, and you could do like a before and after video for them. So let's say you take their business website that exists for an existing contractor, and it's not very good. It doesn't have a booking system, etc. You could actually go ahead and make a whole brand new website for that client, and you could even send it to them. Maybe they will eventually want to buy it from you, but that's not necessarily the point. The point is to show people who visit your website what you're capable of, a before and an after. The next step is you need to actually build a website for yourself. So this is somewhere that you exist on the internet where people can find you. You need to have obviously the basics of who am I, who do I work with, and this should all be very clear because you've done it in your business planning phase. When you have your business planning phase done, you know who you're trying to sell to, you know who you want to work with, and you've got your portfolio together. It's about putting that together on a nice, simple website. I think a lot of designers go kind of over the top with their websites, trying to make them perfect, make them stand out, make them complicated, micro interactions. But really, a lot of that stuff doesn't even matter. Yes, it's impressive, but is it gonna increase your conversions? Is it gonna make you easier to find? I doubt it, okay? A lot of people will waste time building out their own portfolio website or their own website. You're not really getting paid directly for that, and especially in the early days, maybe your skills aren't even that good. So spending time making sales rather than making the perfect landing page for your website is probably time well spent. Beautiful websites don't sell anything, okay? Beautiful websites don't necessarily outsell ugly websites. A lot of these sales heavy websites will actually massively outsell even the most beautiful, well-designed, UX, amazing experience websites. Because the whole point of a website is to deliver value to a business. And a designer isn't necessarily thinking about that all the time. So if you're able to position yourself as a specialist in somebody who understands marketing, messaging, delivering value directly to the business, then you're already way ahead of others. So positioning yourself as an expert in sales or conversion, as well as design and user experience, you're gonna be way ahead of all the other designers and really more searchable too in your local area. 
Now, once you've got these basic things done and you have your portfolio, you've got your niche, you've positioned yourself as a specialist and you have a good idea of your services and your products, how much you're going to charge, etc. It's time to start reaching out and leveraging your network. You might think that you don't have a network, but I'm telling you, if you've got five friends, you have capacity to build a massive network. You can go to meetups, you can find like-minded people, you can join Facebook groups, online groups, Discord groups, where your ideal clients would be hanging out and make some connections, okay? It's not easy to make connections. It can be a little bit cringy. You might feel a bit embarrassed, but getting out there is gonna change your life in terms of getting business, making business and making money. A big question and a big concern a lot of people have is, do they have to make videos? Like I'm making videos right now and it no doubt helps my business, but it isn't something you necessarily have to do. You don't have to make content on social media, but it does help to be more discoverable. I really suggest that at the bare minimum, you have a newsletter. If you have a newsletter, that means you can gather email addresses, you can keep in touch with clients, potential clients, missed clients. Always keep on top of them, keep those leads somewhere that you own. Uh, a website is a great way to collect leads, but social media is a great way to engage with leads. And the more people know you, the more they're gonna trust you. And the more they trust you, the more likely they are to work with you. Obviously, when we start out, we feel, oh, can I charge that much? Is that gonna to be too expensive? Or you, you doubt yourself anyway. But I don't think you should work for free. I really think you should charge maybe a discount rate. If you think about any other industry, let's think about a new restaurant that's just opening up in a place near you, okay? Are they gonna give you free burgers? Obviously not, obviously not. Nobody is giving anything away for free. Even if you doubt yourself as this kind of imposter, it doesn't mean that your skills aren't valuable and shouldn't be paid for, okay? If somebody wants to work with you, you can offer them a discount rate at the start with a view to increase your prices down the line. But I would not suggest working for free necessarily. Once you can get into your head what your business is, who you serve, understand your business value, and get a couple of mock projects done with a nice portfolio, I'm telling you it's gonna be very surprising to you how quickly you can gather leads, especially if you're willing to put in the work at a good rate and really show your professionalism. A lot goes into running a freelance web design agency or a web design company or just a single person business. You do need various tools and I've created a lot of tools and courses to help you get up and running a lot faster. So if you want to do it alone, absolutely do it alone. You can follow all of the steps that I've outlined in this video. But if you want to supercharge it and get there a lot faster, you can follow the link in the description below and join my course. It's gonna speed up the whole process. It includes an ebook to setting up your business. I go over all the tools. I teach you web design itself and how to sell the websites, which is one of the hardest things. So if that's something that interests you, follow the link down below and learn to work from anywhere for yourself. That is the video for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it valuable. If you have anything to add, you can comment down below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can hit subscribe.